hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey. What's up, YouTube? Devin Lamar B. Him with another quick video in regards to jailbreaking your Amazon Fire Stick. Now, of course, this one's going to be on Terrarium TV. I have one other in regards to Cody, but I think this one's much better. So, of course, let's go ahead and run through it. Of course, you need to go to your device setting and ensure under your developer options that your ADB, debugging, and apps from unknown sources are selected to on. Uh, without doing so, this will not work properly for you, okay? Go ahead and knock that out. Once you do so, go ahead and search for your downloader application. If you haven't had it downloaded already, go ahead and do so. All you would do is simply search using the search option on your Fire Stick. Once you find it, install it. As you can see, I already have mine installed here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And real quick, before you type in anything on that field, you wanna go to your settings option and check your enabled JavaScript. This would make the process much easier. Okay, so once you do so, you're gonna to go to your browser option. And you're gonna type in this uh, this address here as shown on the TV. I'll set it under the video as well, just in case you need to grab that really quick. But this is where, of course, um, first and foremost, you're going to uh, install that video player, MX player. This being one of the best options to view videos under the Terrarium application. So again, you're typing in this uh, address for the MX player. You're going to download it before downloading the uh, Terrarium APK. And doing so before you install the application will uh, pretty much make the, the process easier and quicker so you won't have to do so once you install the APK for Terrarium. Okay, so once you type it in, you're going to hit go. It's going to bring up the site here. This is as you see on screen. You're going to go to download MX player. Be sure not to press that blue one there. You're going to scroll down a bit, and of course, you're going to find the option to download MX Player 1.9.14. This may be a different version if you guys are doing this uh, after my particular date of the video. So don't don't stir away from it if it isn't the same version. Nevertheless, once you have it installed, go down and hit install. Let it run through that installation really quick. Should install fairly quickly depending on your network speed. And once you do so, you want to go to done. And you can actually delete this file. All it is the APK. Once you have it installed, uh, you you should be for, you should be okay with just deleting that installation file since it'll just uh, create more room for you once you get rid of it. Okay, so once you have the the MX player installed, let's go ahead and go back to your address bar and let's type in our uh, address for our APK for Terrarium. And again, I'll, uh, I'll put the text here on the screen for you. In addition, I'll have the address under the video just in case you need to jot it down once more. Okay, and again, this APK is for Terrarium TV with no ads. And I'll give you a general idea of how that looks once we get it installed. Now there are a bunch of uh, there are a bunch of other addresses you can use. This is the best one I've seen thus far. Of course, once you type it in and hit go, you want to go to download. Again, the download process is fairly quick depending on your network speed. Once you have the application or the installation file installed, go ahead and go down and hit install. And uh, once you get to this point again, it should go through fairly quick, maybe about a minute, two minute tops.
And once you get it installed, go ahead and hit open. You are ready to launch. So as you can see, you can choose your default player. I went ahead and choose MX player since we haven't installed. You want to go ahead and accept everything after that. And hit, this is pretty much it, guys. Uh, you see the the it's a little bit more user friendly than Cody. I'm going to go ahead and open up an, a, 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 a TV show that we can just give you a quick preview on just to, just to let you know that it's working fine for you, okay? As you can see, there are no ads. No ads whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and let's go to chapter one of uh, Stranger Things here. I'm going to hit play. It's going to load up all of your sources. Just choose a source here. Right, and it's going to use your MX player to play your show. Give it a second to load. Then you just want to hit play. And of course, it's going to choose your default player. And boom. Now I'm not going to show a, a whole lot of what's going on, on the video so I don't run into any copyright issues. But just showing you that this works just fine without any issues. This is one of the most current seasons of Stranger Things. You can find this on Netflix. However, you can also find it on your Terrarium TV. It's a lot more user friendly than Cody. Let's go ahead and show you a movie as well just to show you that you can also find your movies through the ter Terrarium TV. Let's see, I think it should be a good uh, good example here. It's pretty new. Uh, it came out within the last three, four months. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open it up. Of course, just going to go through the sources we have. Looks like we only have one. We're going to hit play. And boom, there you have it. So this is the newest It movie playing through your Terrarium TV. Again, it's a lot more user-friendly than Kodi. Uh, the installation process is a lot more friendlier than Kodi. Everything about this is way friendlier than Kodi. Even it gives you a lot of options in regards to how you can use the app, from notifications to just the way the look and feel of the app itself. So, um so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it in regards to the Terrarium TV installation. This is killing the Kodi app, in my opinion. Hey, real quick, if you want to throw this on the top of your list, go ahead and uh, go to the end to your, your apps and games. You want to hit the options button on your Terrarium TV icon and go to move to top. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and uninstall Kodi from my Amazon Fire Stick because I won't be using Kodi any longer. Again, Terrarium TV is a lot more user-friendly. I love the look and feel of it, and I suggest you guys go ahead and move along to uh, Terrarium TV as well. Again, this APK I provided is uh, ad-free, so you won't run into any ads or any of that good stuff. So, guys, if uh, you liked the video, if this helps you out in regards to the installation, please don't forget to hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. I have more videos coming soon. Until the next episode, guys.